Prey is an excellent survival horror game, but it's not for everyone. If you're a casual player, then I don't advise you to play the game. Even on the easiest difficulty, the game still isn't forgiving. Even if you don't activate the survival options, which make weapons deteriorate over time. In this game, exploration is key. If you don't like exploration games, then this is not for you. And what adds another layer of tense is that you are never safe in this game. You are either chased by something, or the Typhon, the black alien creatures you encounter, can be anywhere. These small ones, called Mimics, can mimic any object, which means that even if you get inside an empty room, the coffee mug could be a mimic, the chair, the plant, even a health pack or ammo can be a mimic in disguise. And the combat isn't a button masher. If you hit a mimic, it will jump somewhere and attack you from another angle. You can use the wrench, pistols, a shotgun or even glue. The glue is very useful as it freezes enemies temporarily so that you can deal massive amounts of damage. But there are also enemies that are almost immune to the glue. Ok, so I said you have weapons, but this doesn't mean that the game is a shooter. No, ammo is scarce. It's better to just avoid enemies. There are sections where you have no choice and there you have to be careful how many shots you take because you might run out of ammo and in some parts taking down enemies with just the wrench is incredibly difficult. So you'll have to be careful, conserve your ammo and always loot everything you encounter. So you feel like prey even later in the game where you are armed to the teeth. Enemies move hectically and attack in a hectic way, which means that you'll have to spin your cursor everywhere, and this adds some layer of complexity to the combat. Also you have abilities. So many abilities that your ability bar turns from a wheel into a spiral. You can emit energy blasts or slow down time for some combat focus, you can transform into any object just like a mimic. All you have to do is to equip the ability and make sure you have enough points. And when you look at an object in the game, you can transform into that object and even move around. Having abilities sounds cool, but getting them is hard. You can upgrade your character using neuro mods, but these pieces of tech are scarce on the map. And you have to explore every corner of the game to get as many as you can. And some are really well hidden. You also get a scanner in the game. With it you can scan enemies and steal their abilities, which you can later upgrade with neuro modes. Also, I have to praise one more thing in the game. The branching. You can take multiple routes to get to your destination. There is no one single way to progress in the game. You can walk through the door and stealth yourself through the enemies. Or you have to explore the level for a key card, or you can break a window that seems like a wall, or you can find a shaft and crawl. Or you can find a shaft and crawl to your location. You can upgrade your repair ability and repair a door to progress, or to upgrade your hacking ability and hack the door. There are multiple ways to reach your destination. And it's pretty cool. Also something unique in the game is that you can recycle junk you find during exploration into useful materials. And then from another station you can put materials you recycled to get useful stuff like health packs or ammo. As for the story, you are Morgan Yu. At the beginning of the game you can choose if Morgan will be a male or a female. And the space station you do your job on gets invaded by an alien species called the Typhon. And now you want to destroy the ship so that the alien die with it. Also along the story by stealing abilities you see more and more how your character changes. Overall the game is a very good survival horror game that has many unique quirks and make it stand out. The game is tough so casual players be aware, I mean you have to explore a lot in the game if you don't want to run out of ammo and get stuck. But if you're a normal player or a hardcore survivor game player, then you will like the game. It's complex and has a lot to offer on all aspects, gameplay wise, graphically and story wise. The game is memorable on all aspects and it's definitely one to recommend to anyone interested in the survival horror game genre.